it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing the Instagram baddie inspired makeup look. So it's pretty much just neutral eyes, very shimmery cheeks because highlight is popping at the moment in the social media world and then a really nice matte lip. So obviously that's not one specific makeup look for Instagram. I just wanted to kind of base it off what a lot of Instagrammers have been wearing lately. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm really excited because we have some Mellow Cosmetic Liquid Lip Paints to play around with at the end. I show you guys two different lip shades, so I'm super excited about that. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I am in the shade Light Neutral. This is definitely my favorite concealer of all time. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over my lid so we can get rid of those veins on there. Now I'm just going to blend that in with a synthetic brush and this just leaves the eyelid looking so flawless. It's like the perfect blank canvas to work on. And then of course I'm going to set that concealer with a bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So just going to dust it a little bit all over my lid. So yesterday I did film this makeup look but I didn't really like how it turned out. So today I'm going to make sure to stick to Makeup Geek and Anastasia eyeshadows because I can trust these with my whole life and yesterday I used different brands and it was just really hard to work with. So I'm going to go in with the Makeup Geek um, eyeshadow in the shade Peach Smoothie. This is the perfect transition shade. So I'm going to do a cut crease today. That's why I don't really want to experiment with other branded eyeshadows. So this one is just going from inner corner to outer corner. This brush is honestly incredible. It is the Makeup Studio S09. So big and flappy. <laughs> Now taking the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Coco Bear on a small pencil brush. I'm just going to dip this in, tap off the excess, and we're going to start making a fake crease. So I'm just going to draw a line right above my natural crease. So when we get to the end right here, I'm just going to flick it up to my eyebrow so we can elongate the shape of my eye. The next shade I'm taking is from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Burnt Orange. So I'm just going to take a bigger pencil brush and we're just going to blend out this harsh line upwards. Right now, I know it looks absolutely crazy, but we still have a lot of work to do. So I'm just going to, again, dab it in, tap it off, and then start blending upwards, but very lightly. I definitely have not mastered the cut crease. I still have a lot of practicing to do. There's no way we can get better without practicing, right? Now taking Coco Bear again, I'm just going to line directly underneath that cut crease right there so we can make a really sharp line just with a little angled brush. Now just taking some concealer on a small synthetic brush, I'm just going to clean up that cut crease so just put it directly underneath that line. The next shade that I'm taking is White Lies by Makeup Geek. So I'm just going to pack this all in this blank space right here with the Zoeva 234 brush. So this is just a flat shader. I'm just going to pack that down. Now I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and sharpen this line right here. Because I cannot do a wing, so I guess this can just like replace that step. <laughs> now time for primer. I'm taking the Natasha Denona Magic Primer. This one is a anti-shine primer, so it makes my foundation very matte. It smells so good. It's like fruit. It's nice and fresh. Now for foundation, I'm taking the Hourglass Vanish Foundation in the shade Warm Beige. This is the perfect match to my fake tanned neck. I love it so much. So I'm just going to put some strokes on my face. Quite a few because I want the full coverage. Time to blend this in. The primer makes this really hard to blend out. Usually when the hourglass foundation is on its own, it like blends out really easily. This foundation has a really, really full coverage as well. I feel like this is like the perfect shade for my fake tan. I'm going to blend it down my neck. Oh my God, my fake tan's coming off my neck. You just see my toes. Oh my God, so patchy. That's what happens when you leave your fake tan on for too long. 
<laughs> now that we have a very full coverage, I'm going in with concealer. Again, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I can't get away from this stuff. This is the perfect shade to highlight under my eyes as well. I've had this for so long, I don't know how it's not empty. Probably nearly is, to be honest. So just blending this in with a damp beauty blender and I'm making sure to be really careful when I'm blending around this area because I want to keep it really sharp. I'm also going to use this to highlight down the center of my face as well. This will just add more dimension to my face. So since this is really highlighted, I want to even it out a little bit. Next step is to bake. So I'm taking the original RCMA No Color Powder. It's kind of messy because you have to take the lid off and then dip your beauty blender inside it. But it is really affordable, so I'm not going to complain. So I'm just going to pack this directly under my eyes so that concealer doesn't move throughout the day. This stuff does claim to be no colored powder, but it definitely does leave a little bit of a white cast. But I actually like that because I love that highlighted effect under the eyes. So while that is baking under my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. So this is the Curtis Collection Perfect Brow Cream in the shade Chestnut. So it's just like the Anastasia Dip Brow, a pomade consistency. I'm going to go ahead and brush my eyebrows out first. And I'm just going to make them really dramatic and sharp and make a bit of an arch. So I'm going to start by drawing a straight line of my eyebrows. And then I like to make a little arch right here. I actually hate doing my brows so much. It takes so long. God, so I'm going to draw a line underneath my brows to define them. And then just fill them in. Now I'm going in with the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder in the shade Honey. This is really good at adding extra coverage as well as setting the foundation. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do little strokes on my face because I don't want to bother the foundation at all. I have so much peach fuzz on my face. You know the little hairy bits you get around here? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and smoke my lower lash line out with the crease color that we used, Coco Bear. This is really going to proportion out the eyeshadow look because it is quite a heavy crease we have up there. And then going in with a shade at Burn Orange, this is the shade that we use to blend out that crease. So this is going to go underneath the colour we just put on the lower lash line just to smoke it out a tiny bit. I really wish I could put a liner in my lower lash line, but my eyes are so sensitive and they just water all the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into mascara. This is the L'Oreal Extra Black Telescopic Mascara. It is the best mascara ever. So I'm just going to coat my top and bottom lashes. When you first get this product, it is quite clumpy. So I feel like after you use it a few times, that's when it starts to get really good. Now I'm just going to pop on some lashes. These ones are in the style Sapphire from Lily Lashes. I do have a coupon code if you guys want to use that. I'll list it down below. But they are so stunning, long and fluffy and everything an Instagram baddie has. I just hold on to the end of my lashes with my tweezers and then line it up with my lash line. And always make sure that your glue is tacky before you put your lashes down, it will make your life so much easier. Then I just go ahead and pinch the real lash and the false lash together. All right, honey boo boo, now it's time to coat these lower lashes. I love making my lower lashes really long and spidery. This is perfect for that. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Nylon. This is perfect for the brow bone highlight. So just taking this on a little pencil brush and then lightly putting this right under my eyebrow just in the arch there. Just for a little bit of shimmer because the whole eyes are very matte. Now to highlight under my eyes a bit, I'm taking the Taylor Blue Light to Medium Contour Kit. And I'm going to mix this shade and this one together. I just want my under eyes to be a little bit more highlighted because I feel like that's what's happening on the gram. And also in between my eyebrows and on my chin as well. And then to contour my cheekbones, I'm going in with these two shades right here on a rounded blush brush by Makeup Geek. Just putting this directly under my cheekbones to carve them out a bit. 
I honestly put on the smallest amount and it just looks so intense because my cheekbones are naturally like really, really high. So I have to remember to like calm down a notch, you know? Now I'm going in with the MAC Gold Deposit and I'm going to use this as a bronzer today. I'm pretty sure it's meant for highlighter for deeper skin tones. As you can see, it's like really shimmery. But I love that bronze glow, so I'm just going to go in. So pretty. I'm also going to use this to bronze my hairline as well. Just very lightly. Now time for blush. I'm taking this one by Zoeva in the shade Burning Up. This is a, oh, a gorgeous peachy coral shade. Apparently it's amazing according to Michael, so I'm going to give it a try myself. So I'm just going to start packing this on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it back. Wow, that is pretty. It's very pigmented. So lucky I'm using like a, a loosely packed brush. <laughs> now it's time for highlighter. So I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. I've been seeing a lot on social media people living for their iridescent highlighters. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take the shade Lucky Clover right here. I feel like the other ones are too pink or too purple for this makeup look since it is really neutral. I want to keep it kind of neutral on the cheeks as well. So let's do this. I don't know why this side never goes on. It's dramatic. I'm also going to put this on the tip of my nose as well. Um, can you blend it out please? Thank you, Del. Also on my cupid's bow. I'm just going to spray a bit of the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. I've never used this before. I swear to God, if this ruins my makeup, I'm going to cry. Wait. I'm testing the spritzer. Piece of dog! I definitely would not recommend that setting spray. Literally has just sprayed chunks of product out of my face. And then when I go to blend them in, it takes my foundation off. Now it's time for the fun part, the lips. So these are the Mellow Matte Liquid Lip Paints. I have all of the shades here. And I think the most Instagrammy, ah! The Instagrammy colors in here are these two right here. So I'm going to try these on for you. The first one I'm going to try on is... Uh, I'm going to leave the name in the description because I honestly don't know how to say this. Shanghai. This shade is a really nice warm tone, like nudie brownie. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it, but it is stunning. Let's do this. Hmm... Oh my god, that feels so good. I feel like these liquid lipsticks are very comparable to the Ofra liquid lipstick formula. They're very moussey and hydrating. They just feel really nourishing on the lips. That's so easy to apply. So this is what Shanghai, I think, looks like on... I think it matches really nicely with the cut crease, the color in there, because it is really warm tone. And then the lip is warm tone, but I definitely want to show you guys this color right here. I think this would have to be my favorite color out of the collection. This one is called Terran. So this one's more of a purpley mauvey nude. So here we have the finished makeup look. If you guys are interested in getting anything from Mellow Cosmetics, make sure to use the code SHANI, S-H-A-N-I, in capital letters to get 10% off store-wide. I'm completely obsessed with them, and I can't wait to try out all of the other colors because there's so many. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I love you so much, and I will see you very soon. Bye!